Most cold weather gloves are entirely synthetic and can be machine washed, but their thick insulation can take days or even weeks to dry, especially if the shell is waterproof. And even when it does finally dry, it is often twisted into an impenetrable wad of material, ruining the gloves. With most gloves, you can pull the insulating liner out of the shell, turning only the liner inside out. Like this, a glove can dry in an hour or two. The liner fluffs out to a perfect shape, but it is inside out, and it is not in the shell. You can't just shove the liner back into the shell. The finger tubes become twisted and tangled, and none of them will return to their correct shell position. You might try using your own hand to guide the finger tubes. Even though the liner is inside out, it is in the correct position for you to insert your fingers, just as you would normally don the glove. Theoretically, you could then push your hand into the shell, using each finger to guide its own tube. But until the liner is turned completely right side out, the material is doubled, and the shell can't stretch enough to accommodate this plus your fingers. Unless the glove is too big for you, or you have a small-handed assistant, you will need to simulate a small hand. More specifically, you need five thin fingers. Any kind of blunt rods could be used, but unlike your fingers, as you stuff the liner back into the shell, it becomes impossible to tell which rod goes to which finger, and you can't guide them back into the correct shell positions. Fortunately, the solution is simple. Instead of being identical, each rod has some unique identifier, for example, colored pens. I use a standard color sequence, black, brown, red, orange, yellow, which is easy for me to remember. Each pen is inserted into a specific finger in the inside-out liner, black into thumb, brown into index, and so on. The pens must penetrate to the tips of the tubes. Push on the pens to shove the liner back into the shell, otherwise the liner will bunch up. You must make sure that only enough of the liner material enters the shell to allow the fingers to advance. Any extra will block further penetration. When the pen tips reach the shell's finger tubes, you have to start guiding them appropriately. Looking inside the glove, you can see why this would be difficult without the identifying colors. The liner fingers should go back into shell fingers with just a gentle push. You will encounter resistance only if the finger liner has bunched up. Force will not correct this problem. You should pull the liner completely out of the shell and start over. Putting the glove on your hand will seat the liner everywhere except at the fingertips. So after the liner is completely back in the shell, seat each fingertip by poking it inside with a pen a few times.